Okay, this is old school. Uh, I think I showed this in a video before, but um, it's a lead into the next part of this video. Uh, this is insignia here. If you're not in the United States, you might not know what this is. Or even if you're young, you might not know what this is. Um, so back in the Cold War days, when you were uh, instructed to duck and cover under your uh, under your school desk to save yourself from a nuclear uh, blast, um, this was the civil defense. And so it was important that in a nuclear holocaust, that the population be able to organize and save itself from the horrors of a nuclear bomb. <laughs> so the nu nuclear industry uh, made a lot of money, I think, selling these things. But anyway, um, yeah, this is the civil defense. And what is this? This is a Geiger counter, okay? And uh, this is a, a Victorine Instruments uh, number a CDV 700, okay? And so there's this cool uh, thing that's the, the wand that you, that you measure radioactive things from. And uh, normally the packaging of this would include headphones and you had to, you had to uh, put on the headphones uh, here in order to hear the, the, the clicks, you always hear the Geiger counters going click, 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 click. Um, so this one would click only with headphones. And so I modified mine and I put a little Lapizio beeper here um, and allows me to get clicky, clicky th noises. So let me get my microphone over here. You hear that? Anyway, let me get... Let me get something radioactive. Oh, wait a minute, it's right here on the side. How handy. <laughs> I could put this right here. And so they, I think there's either some uranium or, or radi uh, radium or uranium. One of those two things is plastered here on the side of the instrument to help you, uh, to help you calibrate it. I think you can hear those clicks now. So it's nice having the, uh, Pizio there. Now you probably don't want to sleep with this thing, but uh, it's pretty low, and most of the most of the little bit of energy won't kill you. But um, it's not a great thing to have around. Let's take a look at some other radioactive things before we uh, get to the main show here. Uh, I've got a, a bag here that uh, is marked radioactive. Okay, and. Uh, you can hear that. And so what are these radioactive things I have in my bag? Dump them out. Okay. So uh, this one is uranium, uranium ore. Can you, can you see that? Anyway, it's, 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 it's a rock. Okay. I'll put a picture here. It's just a rock. And um, the cool thing about uranium is it's also a, a element that if you shine ultraviolet light on it, uh, sometimes it glows. And you can see here, mine glows this really, really nice green. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it in the bag. <laughs> uh, just to keep the dust. You don't wanna, basically radioactive, radioactive stuff isn't too dangerous as long as it's not terrible and if you don't eat it, like you don't ingest radioactive material, that's when it gets really, really bad. Anyway, so that's uranium ore. This little bit here is out of a smoke detector. This is a uh, uh, americium, americium, depends how you want to pronounce it, uh, 241. So it's an isotope and uh, it's not very radioactive in the wavelengths this detector can, um, can listen to. So, um, Geiger tubes, this is a Geiger-Muller tube, it can uh, look at uh, beta radiation and gamma radiation, but these americium-241s are big alpha emitters, and alpha doesn't even go through your hand, it just kind of bounces off. So even a piece of paper would block this from the uh, uh, alpha particles coming out. Um, now alpha particles are really big, heavy particles. Uh, they are the nucleus of a helium atom, two protons and two, two uh, neutrons and so they're really big heavy things and, and so they're stopped easily. Uh, beta, uh, beta radiation is uh, uh, energetic uh, electrons or energetic photons depending on how you want to think about it 
and then gamma radiation is uh, uh, sort of x-rays or, or, or worse, uh, higher frequency. So it's all radio waves, just really, really high radio waves. And then the last thing I have is this cool tag here that came off of a Geiger counter that I had a long time ago uh, that was uh, vacuum tube based. This one is a radiation tag from Detectron Instruments. And it has, you hear that? Yeah, it's really radioactive. It's got uh, radium. It's got uh, radium stuck in that piece of plastic there, so that's radioactive. Yeah, so don't eat any of these things. Otherwise, you'll probably be okay. All right, so uh, now that we've kind of had an introduction to uh, things that go click, um, this is the... Uh, I'm going to extend this video because uh, I think people would want to see this. Uh, so there is a booklet that you can get for the... Uh, Geiger counter that I have, and we can take a look at the schematic, which is in here. All right, so I don't know if people can see that. Let me, uh, let me readjust the camera. We'll take a look at the schematic. All right, so this is schematic. There's batteries. There's an oscillator here, and the oscillator uh, tickles the transformer. The transformer then generates high voltage. And I think around 400 volts you need for Geiger tubes, around 400 volts here. And here is the Geiger tube. And then the Geiger tube will uh, conduct every once in a while because you're sending in energy particles and it'll conduct for a second. And that's the click that you hear. It's detected by this circuit over here. Um, so there's another transformer and an amplifier. And then it gets peak detected. It gets, it gets like AM, AM detected on a... Uh, on a capacitor, and those are the clicks that come out. This is where the uh, headphone attaches. And this is where the uh, uh, meter on the front is connected. All right. So uh, there's a times one. I can't see it here. Times one, times ten, times a hundred scale, and it's in uh, milliradian, millirads, millirads per hour, or counts per minute. Okay, so around here, around 14 counts per minute is pretty typical. Maybe maybe up to 20, but usually around 14 counts per minute is just the background background radiation. If you live in uh, Colorado, it's much much higher, like three or, three or five times higher than it is here. But in California, it's very very low here on the coast. Um, go up into an airplane, it's much much higher. The atmosphere blocks a lot of it. All right. Um, and just inside, because I know people want to see inside. Uh, here are the four batteries, D-cell batteries, and some circuitry, big TO5, uh, TO5 transistors. Anyway, there you go. That is a, uh, and even inside of the uh, box here is the, uh, is the schematic. Okay, but what we want to talk about today like I said, it's going to be a long introduction, uh, is this thing. So uh, I've been seeing these all over Ali, AliExpress and places, um, which is a uh, nuclear radiation detector. Um, and they're around $35 now, so I couldn't ignore it any longer. 35 bucks. And that, now it has a Geiger-Muller tube in it. Um, comes in a box. You get, uh, get the instrument. And it's, it's rechargeable, too. Uh, so it has a C, USB-C, comes with a cable, um, we can turn it on. Now, uh, the one thing that I don't like about it is it doesn't click. I, I mean, you can have a Geiger card, it's got to click. I don't know if the, these things are hackable or not to click, but uh, uh, yeah. If I move it over here next to my, uh, my uranium, ah, it sends off an alarm. It does have an alarm saying, hey, uh, you're next to something really radioactive, uh, you might want to back up. <laughs> um, and it gives you a graph here of how many counts. The maximum was 456 counts per minute, okay? Um, but typically, uh, like I said, we're probably maybe around the uh, 14, 14 counts per minute. Let's turn it off, turn it back on, and look at the back, background radiation over here. What we don't be next to my radioactive things. Yeah, we're at 12 count, 18 counts, 
24 yeah we're probably still pretty close to that stuff over there there we go 18 24 anyway that's kind of the background background radiation of anything and then you get it to get it close to anything radioactive and uh, she starts to go crazy um, now this thing uh, if I can zoom in on it here uh, I can get the glare off the camera hmm. Okay, uh, there's some settings. You can set it to microsieverts. Uh, I don't, I don't know what the actual is. Uh, millirads per hour, counts per minute. I have it in counts per second and counts per minute. I just have it set in counts per, counts per uh, minute. You can set an alarm, like what level do you want the alarm to go off and things like that. So um, it does have that, it does have that stuff going for it. Um, it's got different displays and stuff. It is pretty cool though. Um, I will show some pictures of this on the inside. There's, uh, there is a Geiger Mueller tube, a uh, cute little one, and uh, a circuit. Um, I have, can't find a schematic for this particular unit, but I have found some schematics that have similar, similar schematics, um, that have a uh, doubler, tripler, times 10 uh, voltage dub doubler circuit in it uh, to get that to 400 volts. This uh, has a DC to DC converter to kick it up and then some extra diodes and stuff to kick it up even, even farther. Um, yeah, otherwise, it's, it's, it's a nice instrument. I mean, for $35, if you don't have a Geiger, Geiger counter, I mean, there's no excuses now. Um, it is pretty radioactive over, over on this side of the bench, so I don't, <laughs> I don't want to go over there. Um, I do keep my uh, my radioactive materials uh, in the garage, up high, squirreled away in a bag with marked, in place that I never, never, hardly ever go to. So keep them keep them away from me. Um, there you go. Anyway. Sort of a weird review of the GC's D G geez, can't even say it. G C dash zero one. Um and uh, like I said, uh here we go. If you can can't understand what I said. Um yeah, for thirty five dollars, I think it's great. Uh it seems pretty uh pretty rugged, it's got little bumpers on it and stuff. Um it uh you'd say, well, the Geiger tube is is inside how can you get stuff in there well yeah uh, gamma radiation and uh, beta radiation will go through that piece of plastic so it's not too much of a not too much of a hindrance uh, this does not detect alpha particles this will not detect alpha particles um, and my, my big fancy yellow one doesn't detect uh, that either I don't know if all radioactive things are yellow I don't think so but it's nice that they match um, anyway there you go